Hey guys, Lou here, Tiny Mountain Houses. I'm gonna show you a pretty cool little studio. Now this little guy is 18 feet, eight and a half, and it's just an open space in here with a loft. So it's got no plumbing in here, um, got some basic electrical, but check this out. So this can be an office, you know, a studio. Um, I mean, she's, it could be a massage parlor. I mean, a lot of different things, but I want to point out some of the amenities here first. Um, notice these double uh, out swing doors. We custom built these. Look at the, the kind of rusty accent here, the really cool handles. When I open them up, it just, this space just goes boom, wow. Now you've got these doors. We've got a picture window above, the nice cool uh, porch lights. We got a bunch of them all around. This is a, a, a gabled roof build. Um, if I didn't already mention it, it's fully insulated, little overhang, um, got a 40 year metal roof, a 40 year typical siding, our fly you to the moon efficiency vinyl windows. Um, as you walk around, I'm gonna kind of show you, and Nick can get in position here, where you've got the, the entry side here. We've got a, a half light uh, uh, door here. A nice set of windows. Now the way we've got it set up right now is it's kind of you know butted next to one of our other units um, just to kind of give that kind of dual unit look. But with that, I'm gonna walk inside here uh, and show you what this baby looks like. I think you're gonna like it. Come on. Hey, so here we are inside of the 18 foot studio. Now notice, I mean, we've got um, birch walls throughout, just a clear stain finish in here. Um, got a loft that's, actually this loft is um, six foot nine, uh, the height of the ceiling here. Um, check out this countertop, butcher block, got a nice contoured edge on it. And what we did is something kind of cool is we took this cutout, turned it upside down and we made a shelf up here. Uh, nice little accent area. Got a couple of architectural stools here, some cool lighting. Once again, a, another picture window that mimics the one that you saw on the front side. And we also have another one above that in the loft area. So a nice little workspace in here, as I mentioned earlier. I mean, boy, this space can be you know, a multitude uh, of things and, and uses. It really is up to you. Um, what we've got in here, basic electrical, as I stated outside, no plumbing. We don't have a sink or a bathroom or anything like that in here. So it's basically just an office or open space. Um, you know, actually, funny little story here. The whole reason that this came to be is that um, a lot of folks that bought our tiny houses said, hey, I got extra stuff. You know, what do I do with that? There's not quite enough room in my tiny house to put all the other things that we just can't get rid of. And so I've been typically saying, hey, go buy, um, you know, one of those pre-assembled sheds that, or they could come out to your place and put it up. And finally, I started thinking about it. So, you know what? Wait a minute. Why don't we design something that'll basically work, that's portable, just like a tiny house? Hence what we're looking at, this studio. Um, so back to it. Um, flooring, what we've done in here, this is a commercial grade, a vinyl plank floor. Uh, I don't know if Nick can get a shot, but we have tie downs. So, I mean, if you want to load things in here and buckle them down, that's what, what they're, they're in that, that floor cavity for. Um, let's see here. So aside from this area here and the lighting, uh, we do have a, the loft up here is just under seven feet. Um, nice amount of storage up there. I mean, we've got some things up there just kind of exemplify what, what, what it could be for you. Um, if you look at the ceiling, we've got a series of, uh, of can lights in the ceiling. Uh, we've got a ceiling fan in here and just kind of showing you what it could be with, with some of the uh, storage uh, that we've done. Um, the ladder, notice we've got uh, kind of an industrial um, rod for hangers. We've got the ladder stored here. Uh, and then of course you can just easily move over and uh, utilize it to access the uh, storage loft. Um, I'm gonna spin around here, let's see, and show you what we've done here is, let me back up. Um, check this out. This is my daughter's artwork. I said, hey, you need, can you do something cool for us for, for you know, actually for display purposes. So she, she scratched this out or painted and 
we've stuck it out here and there's another one. I don't know if you saw it on the wall when we first walked in a second ago, but I, I think it's pretty cool. She, she made an effort. I'm really happy with it and, 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 and proud of her for doing it. Um, so as we look at the rest of this build, you, you're going to notice, you know, we've got four windows um, in this area. We've done the dark stain. This is pine. We dark stained around the windows, the door, the floor line uh, to kind of give you some contrast. Um, and I think you saw the loft too, where we've got that same dark stain and the beams underneath the uh, loft are the same way. Um, one of the features that, that I think is just awesome in this build are these double doors. You saw them from the outside with that rusty accent finish um, and you can see them in here. They, I think they, they just really make a statement in this house. I'm going to open them up uh, right now just to kind of, man, it just, it's incredible what, what it does. Now we're a little cloudy out here because we're in Oregon. Um, they say it's summertime, but I, I wonder. But check this out! Look at this. I mean, it just, wow. And I, Nick's going to come out here. I'm, I'm going to lock these doors open. Um, so I'm going to walk out here. I don't know if Nick can get a shot of this mechanism that we have over here. Um, but it really is functional. It's solid. It's secure. Boom. That door's not going anywhere. Uh, both sides are the same way. I'm going to have Nick set back and just look at this. Look at, look at this interior space. Look how inviting it is. I mean, I really think it turned out well. Hopefully, you know, you can appreciate, you know, some of the elements, if not all of this build. Um, once again, this is designed as storage, as extra space to your tiny house. But the reality is this can be by itself. It doesn't have to be a, 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 an additional unit over and above um, your tiny house. It can be all by itself. It can be in your backyard, in your side yard, uh, you know, at, your, at your, 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 your space somewhere out in the country or wherever you need it. But this is just an example of stuff that we can do. I wanted to present it to you, give you a good uh, kind of overview of what this is, um, and let us know if it, it's a fit for you guys. I mean, it's as simple as that. Um, we appreciate you checking us out. This is a short video just to kind of say, hey, look at a studio, look at our studio, look at what could be done, depending on what your needs are. Um, oops, we got a door that's moving, that's okay. Um, so listen, if, if you've got, you know, if you're checking us out on YouTube, hit that little like button. You know, we sincerely appreciate the fact that you are checking us out. Stay there, door. Um, and we thank you. Give us a call. Send us an email. We'd love to talk to you about your specific needs. Once again, thanks, Lou and the team. Be safe. Be well. Bye now.